loving father we thank you for this precious day you have given unto us we thank you lord for helping us to worship you you are the one lord who has drawn us to thyself that we could be in thy house with one desire of god and that is to meet with you thank you for granting us moments of worship times o oh god to lift up our hearts to you and minister to you lord thank you for every work of thy holy spirit lord in some measures we all could experience this morning you are no man's debtor you are ever faithful once again therefore we bow down and worship and bless you lord we thank you for granting us yet another time lord to gather together and come around your word for man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the father and therefore lord we have gathered to hear thee not by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of thy mouth o god so it's our prayer that you would feed us even today lord grant each one of us that grace we need to be attentive to what you have to say to us despite the difficulties that so many of us are here in this hall without easy so hot and so difficult but father we pray despite all this we would be able to concentrate focus on you Amen. and listen to your voice of god help us to exercise our spiritual man within that your word will not fall to the ground but will find an entrance into our lives this morning Amen. that's our prayer father once again help us lord pray for my brother and myself we need your grace lord grace that we are able to convey your word and your thought and your mind unto your people lord it's not in the strength and the ability of man we realize lord we need an unction from above we need the anointing from above lord we need the sustaining even lord naturally physically this morning the physical man is weak and tired having infirmities lord but look up unto thee that you will be our sufficiency so we come in these moments unto the lord come forth in our midst by the power of your resurrection by the power of your holy spirit of god amen and speak to our hearts is our prayer we so much therefore depend on you even at this time lord that we are able to convey your thoughts your burden your word unto all of us so grant us the necessary grace anointing as we yield ourselves to the power and the authority and the lordship of thy holy spirit help us father thank you lord jesus we yield ourselves to you holy spirit lead us and guide us in jesus most precious and matchless name we pray amen 
<coughs> we thank the Lord for His faithfulness over these months. Kitne madang lag hai Devan namak kaan bikra vade unme tan me kaha nandi chalatu ho. And the Lord has been speaking to us His heart's burden. மேலும் தேவ வாரத்தை தேவன் நம்மோடு கூட பேசிக் கொண்டு வருகிறார் நமக்கு பல தேவைகள் உண்டு But I believe God's need is above every need of ours. ஆனால் நம்முடைய தேவைகளை காட்டிலும் தேவ தேவைதான் மேலானது என்று நான் விசுவாசிக்கிறேன் And the Lord has been showing unto us what is his burden. அவருடைய பாரம் என்ன என்பதை தேவன் மேலும் நமக்கு விளக்கி காண்பிக்க What is his need in the midst of God's people? தேவ ஜனங்களின் மத்தியில் அவருடைய தேவை என்ன என்பதை சொல்லுங்கள். Now we know that in god's mercies and god ever willing namakku theriyum devan irakkathinaale devan eppozhudum virumbugiradhu pole we would be having our camp meeting next week adutha varam nammude camp meeting nam vaippo and i do not know what god is going to speak then ange devan enna pesa pogiraar endru enakku theriyum we began this year from the book of you know meditating upon the book of hagai hagai puthavathe inda varadathil irundhu dhyanikka aarambam we moved on to the book of ezra adarkapram ezra puthavathukku sendrom and the lord began to speak the greatest need of uh, the cross to work in us and in the midst of us in order to complete this house in the veetai katti mudipadarkku namakkullagavum nam mathilum siluvai kriya seya vendum enbadai kurithu devan nammodu kuda pesinar and we thank god for all that he spoke to us so far ivalavu naal varai devan pesi ella kaaryangalukku nam nandri so i do not know how god is going to lead us in the coming days varigira naalgalile devan eppadi nadathuvar endru there are several things from the book of hagai still the lord has laid upon my heart innum in irudayathile aagai puthathil irundhu pala kaaryangalai devan vaithirukkar but nonetheless today we would come to a kind of conclusion of this uh messages analum parava ille indre inda yathinudaiya oru mudivu there is no end in god's word deva vasanathirkku oru mudivu illai it goes on until his word is fulfilled avrude vaarthai nerivera varaiyile adu sendru konde irukum so we uh, let us really look unto the lord this morning adave devane nam indru kaalai poludhu theduvom we heard very clearly the greatest need amongst us for a spiritual vision revelation or understanding நாம் கேட்டோம் நமக்கு மிகப்பெரிய தேவை என்னவென்றால் ஆவிக்குரிய ஒரு பார்வை ஆவிக்குரிய வெளிப்பாடு ஒரு புரிதல் என்பதை கடந்த வாரம் பேசிய தேவன் பேசிய எல்லா காரியங்களுக்கும் நன்றி செலுத்துவோம் நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே பரிசுத்த ஆவியினால் கொடுக்கப்படுகிற பார்வை எவ்வளவு அவசியமாக இருக்கிறது என்று வாழ்க்கையில் இருந்து நாம் பார்த்தோம் and how it changed this man's life இந்த மனிதனுடைய வாழ்க்கையை அது எப்படி மாற்றியது என்று பார்த்தோம் and the lord prompted us namakkum devam unarthinar and the lord said unto us we also need to come into a holy spirit imparted seeing of the lord and his church appadiyaga devan namakkum unarthinar avarai kurithum avarude sabaiye kurithum naamum paarka vendum endra kaaryathai namakku devan unarthinar You know what Isaiah saw Isaiah paathad enna vendral was Christ and the church Kristavum sabayum kurithu paatha You know and so we thank God for those encouragements we could receive from the prophets And the thirka thirchil irundhu naam petra and the urthagathirkku naam nandri seluthuvom You know what the prophets saw they wrote அவர்கள் பார்த்த காரியத்தை அவர்கள் எழுதினார் பிரசங்கித்தார்கள் you know so we saw from the book of romans chapter 1 namakku theriyum romer 1 am adhigarathil paarthom the greatest need to have that holy spirit imparted understanding of the word in our lives namude vaalkaiyile inda vaarthaiye parichutha aaviyin moolamaga kodukapadigira porilile nam kekka vendum you know we heard clearly that we need to have the revelation of christ and the church the body அப்படியாக கிறிஸ்துவை குறித்தும் அவருடைய சரீரமாகிய சபையை குறித்ததுமான வெளிப்பாடு நமக்கு தேவை என்று பார்த்தோம் நம்மளுடைய ஆவிக்குரிய புலன்களை நாம் இயக்க வேண்டும் என்று நாம் கேட்டோம் 
by the holy spirit in our lives nammude vaalkaiyile melum parshutha aavinal kodukapadigiradana andha purigalukkum andha vidham not in mental understanding as you know one thing namakku theriyum i've shared this before idarkku munbu solli irukiren you cannot teach and make somebody a christian oru oru vane neengal karpithu koduthu irukkaga maatra mudiyadhu i've shared this idhai naan pagirndirukiren for every other religion you can teach somebody and convert them into that religion matra ella madangalilum oru vanukku karpithu koduthu andha madathanaga neengal maatralam If you want to join any religion, if you want to join any religion, you approach them. They will give their book to you, and they will ask you to read that book. And the book that they want to read, and they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. And they tell you that you don't do that. or doing something written in the bible vedate edo vaasipadinalum or by going into the waters of baptism illavattil gnanathanam peruvadinalum you cannot be a christian neengal kristuvanaga maara mudiyadhu you are a christian when you are born from above neengal melirundu pirakkum poludhu maatrame kettu varu so that is the difference between christian uh, life and all other faith or religion adhu dhaan kristuva vaalvirkum matra ella madathinudaiya vaalvirkum vyathyasamaga irukirathu now Remember this is the foundation of Christian life. இது தான் கிறிஸ்துவத்தினுடைய அடிப்படை வாழ்வாகும். And this is the way we must grow as well. அப்படியே தான் நாம் அப்படியே தான் நாம் வளரவும் வேண்டும். We cannot begin by the spirit and go in the flesh. நாம் ஆவியிலே ஆரம்பித்து மாம்சத்திலே முடிக்க முடியாது. Remember you began in the spirit. நாம் ஆவியிலே ஆரம்பித்தோம். Yes or no? நமக்கு தெரியுமே? Tell me. But the saddest thing today in Christianity is having begun in the spirit, we all excel mentally, intellectually. Anal Christu mandra thile meka soga mana kariy mana gandal. Na maavile aramikrom, anal mamse thile mudikrom. Yes. Melom namrya putti kur mel mudikrom. Nobody will speak this. Ida yaram pesi kare dil. Because the lot of them will lose their job. Yen andal anegar vele galendi udhu varve. Some of the churches will have to be folded up. Sila sabey kal moodi pada vada vendo. The denominational system will collapse. Avrudiya prevenigal inudiya adhamai pu vandi. But may God help us and open our eyes of understanding. Anal devo namak puri. As we heard a couple of weeks back. Nam karanda varam keto. Our spiritual beginning and our progress is always in the line of the Holy Spirit impartation. நம்மளுடைய ஆவிக்குரிய ஆரம்பமும் நம்மளுடைய ஆவிக்குரிய வளர்ச்சியும் எப்பொழுதுமே அந்த ஆவியானவர்களுடைய வெளிப்பாட்டில் மாத்திரமே இருக்கிறது Yes. Oh, so may God help us. Now there are many things and we have very less time. தேவனம் குதவி செய்யட்டும் பல காரியங்கள் I don't know when my throat will pack up. So pray for me. ஆகவே எனக்காக ஜெபியுங்கள். I like to turn us to the book of Zechariah. சகரியா புத்தகத்திற்கு செல்வோம். to once again talk about the the importance of vision and the tarithanathin mukhyathuvathai kurithu paarpadharku marubadiyumaga naam idai paarkalam sakariya chapter 4 sakariya 4th adhigaram then i turned and lifted up my eyes <coughs> and sorry i am reading the 5th chapter 4th chapter and the angel that talked with me came again and wake me as a man that is awakened out of his sleep ennude pesina thoodan yes please read ennude pesina thoodan thirumbi vande nithrai pannigira oru vanai elupuvathu pol enna elupi and he and said unto me what seest thou நீ காண்கிறது என்னவென்று கேட்டார் and i said i have looked and behold a candlestick all of gold with a ball upon the top of it and his seven lamps there on and seven pipes to the seven lamps which are upon the top thereof அதற்கு நான் இதோ முழுவதும் பொன்னினால் செய்யப்பட்ட குத்து விளக்கை காண்கிறேன் அதன் உச்சியில் அதில் கிண்ணமும் அதன் மேல் அதன் ஏழு அகழ்களும் அதன் உச்சியில் இருக்கிற அகழ்களுக்கு போகிற ஏழு குழாய்களும் இருக்கிறது ஆகவே இங்கு நாம் பார்க்கிறோம் 
you know the angel came unto him again marubadiyumaga and thoodan avarku thirumbi vandha and woke him up avare elupinar and he said unto me enakku sonnar what seest thou nee kaangirad enna vendru ketta and i said i have looked naan paarthen idho and behold a candles stick all of gold muluvadum ponninal seiyappatta kuttu velakai kaangiren yes so here we find again aga venge marubadiyum paarkirom the prophet of god having a vision தேவ தீர்க்கதரிசி ஒரு தரிசனத்தை பார்க்கிறார் in the book of sakaraya there are so many visions sakaraya puthagathile pala தரிசனங்கள் உண்டு but here we find that he had a vision ana lingu avai oru tharisanathai paarkira vision of an overcoming vessel oru jeem kulikira oru paathrathai paarkira yes that's what you know here he was shown by the lord adhu dhaan devunal avarku kaanvikkapatta ringu so in the vision of sakaraya here in chapter 4 inge sakariyavin tharisanathai naalam adhigarathile the angel of god woke him up deva thoodan avare elupinar as one who was awakened from his sleep nithrai panigiravan elumbugirathu pole irundathu and the angel asked him what seest thou nee enna kaangira endru devan deva thoodan avare kettar and he said the prophet said i have seen naan paarkiren endru avar sonnar and i behold naan paarthen idho a candlestick of gold muluvadum ponninal seiyappatta oru kuttu he could not understand many things pala karyangal avanukku puriyavilla as we heard even before idharkku munbu kettathu pole when god wants to show us devan namakku ondra kaanvithu kodukka verumbodhu he shows those things to us namakku andha karyangalai kaanvithu kodukkara but that is only one side of the vision adhu darshanathin oru paguthi dhaan but we need to understand the other side what it really signifies adanudeya vilakkam enna endrai nam innoru pakkamaga paarka vendum now here it says a candlestick all of gold inge nam paarkirum muluvadum ponninal seiyappatta oru kuttu vilakku you know and what is that in the new testament pudhi yerpaadile adanudeya artham enna we need to understand that all these what we read in the prophets have a fulfillment in the new testament as well namakku ondru theriya vendum indha thirukkadarsana puthagangalil irukkira ellavattirkum pudhi erpaattile as we saw from the book of isaiah esaiah adhiyam paarthar we can see it from the book of ezekiel ezekiel nam vaasikkirom you know it's wonderful to see how the holy spirit can show to us the same thing reflected in the new testament as well agave pudhi erpaattilum idhe kaaryam kodukkapattirukkirade parshutha aviyanavar kaanvithu kodukkirade arbudhamana oru kaaryam aagum now here what a uh, sakaraya could see was inge sakaraya paathad enna vendum a candlestick all of gold muluvadum ponninal seiyappatta oru kuttu velai an instrument of god adu devudaiya oru karuviyaga irundhathu a vessel of god devudaiya oru paathramaga irundhathu a people of god oru deva janangalaga here on the earth indha bhoomiyile kaanapadugira janangal amen amen that's what it means or signifies adinudaiya artham idhu dhaan a people holy of god muluvadumaga devanukku uganda janangal or an instrument or a vessel holy of god devanukku mulumiyaga oru paathram oru karuvi for bearing the testimony of jesus christ upon this earth indha bhoomiyile yesu christuvin saatchi thaangakudiya oru janangal you know all of gold muluvadumaga pon candlestick all of gold muluvadumaga poninal and we know that gold in the bible terminology or types and shadows speaks about divine life ungalku theriyum and divinity and the pon enbadhu divine nature and so on and the pon enbadhu vedathinudaiya arthathile adu and the deiviga vaalvai kurikirathu divine deiviga subhavathai kurikirathu life divine nature and so on deiviga vaalvu deiviga subhavam evigalai kurikiradha irukirathu yeah yes so this is what sakaraya saw idai than sakaraya ipdi paartha a whole a candlestick all of gold muluvadum podinal seiyappatta oru kuttu all of gold god muluvadumaga podinal an instrument all of god muluvadumaga devan kondavar paathram and this all of god devanukku ugandha oru paathram and people who are all of god muluvadumaga devan devanukkendra holy of god muluvadukkum devanumaga devanukkendra man made not man constituted manithinal undaakapattadalla but something which god has produced anal devanal undaakapatta oru karyam something which god has constituted devanal undaakapatta oru karyam aagum which god has produced devanal iyakapattathu in which there is that flaming burning testimony of jesus christ idile yesu christuvinudaiya and erindu prakashikkum oru saathi kaanapadukkirathu adhu dhaan 
Now, so this is what actually Zechariah saw. You know, there are so many things that we can uh, receive from this scripture portion. But I would not go into all the detail. You know, and don't you realize this is God's need today? Yes or no? What is that instrument all of God that God is looking for today? Yes. What is that? What is that vessel that God is looking for? Can anybody tell me an answer? The church. The church. The church as we heard last week, all of God. All of Christ. The foundation is Christ. The superstructure is Christ. There is nothing other than Christ in his church. So this is what actually Zechariah saw. So don't you realize this is God's need even today? Amen. Amen. Don't you realize therefore God's people must come back to the reality of this word in these days. Yes. Are we not to have that longing and desire as his people? To be wholly constituted by God. Made up by those divine elements in our lives. Elements of pure gold. Yes. In which the flames and the burning testimony of Christ is visible. Yes. And remember that it is not possible to come into that place yes, without the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. But is it impossible? It is possible. It is not impossible. It is not beyond the Lord's will for His people. Yes. Amen. This Amen. is what the Lord is desiring concerning even His church. Yes. You know, when we uh, look into God's word, from cover to cover. Yes. The vision that Zechariah had here in this chapter. In the Adigaratile, Sagariav in Daritanatile. Yes. <coughs> Praise God. I hope that will not put us to sleep. All right. You know, so the golden lampstand that Zechariah saw here, it is a picture of divine testimony, as we heard. The outshining glory of God. Now remember, when we see the Bible from the beginning, when God created everything, you know, all that He desired was a display of His glory. Amen. He saw everything to be, you know, glorious. And then He made man. And He said, It's very good. Yes or no? You know, everything that he created displayed his own glory. <coughs> yes. But the tragedy was, man failed to realize this great, grand design of God upon his heart. 
அவருடைய இடத்தில் இருக்கிற மிகப்பெரிய இந்த தேவனுடைய வாஞ்சை அவர் மேன் தட் ஹி கிரியேட்டட் இன் ஹிஸ் ஓன் இமேஜ் தன்னுடைய சாயலாக படுத்த அந்த மனிதன் இதை இஸ் டு கம் இன்டு தட் பிளேஸ் ஆஃப் மேனிஃபெஸ்டிங் தட் வெரி குளோரி அந்த சொந்த மகிமையை அவர் வெளிப்படுத்த அவர் உண்டாக்கப்பட்டான் சோ वी सी that the first man and woman failed about it idai kurithu anda mudal manidhanum manushiyum tholvi adindu vittargal endru paarkkiru you know then we see in the history in the old testament palai erpaattile adarkapparamaga naam varalaatile you know it moved from them to individuals adarkapparam anda magimai thani navarukku maariyadu whether it is abel adu abelaga irundhalum seri abel abelaga irundhalum seri or enak enakaga irundhalum seri or no noah irundhalum paarkkiru or abraham abrahamil paarkkiru and others minimum matravargal we can see that these individuals began to bear the glory of god the testimony of god ipadi patta inda thani navargal avargal devanudaiya saatchiyum magimiyum velippadatha aarambithargal you know the glory of god in some measure rested upon the shoulders of these men in the manithukalin tholgalin melaga devanudaiya magimiyanadu or alavu velippada aarambithathu you know they walked with god avargal devanodu kuda nadandargal they surrendered their lives thangude vaalkai sarnadaithargal they could understand the design of god devanudaiya andha thittathai purindargal they carried this enormous responsibility in their lifetime thangude vaalkai muluvadum indha migapperiya porupai avargal eduthu sendrargal yes they did bear the testimony and the glory of god in measures avargal oru alavukku devudey saatchiyum devudey magimiyum avargal thaangi irundargal you know these lonely men stood as a preservation of the testimony of god upon this earth indha bhoomile devudey saatchiyaga indha thanipatta namargal thaangi irundargal you know and then we see in the history adarkapram nam varlaattile paarkkom the testimony passed on from individuals to a nation called israel apdi aga andha saatchiyanadhu thaninavargal irundhu oru desamaga israel endra desathirkku maariyadhu it was brought into a corporate vessel a body of people adhu andha magimiyanadhu oru kootu manidhanaga oru desathirkku vandhadhu the lord said you are a holy nation devan sonnar neengal parishuddha janangal a kingdom of priests neengal parishuddha aasariya kootam and a peculiar people unto me devanukenda sonda janangal endru a people who are to bear the glory of god upon this earth inda bhoomiyile devanudaiya magimiyai vilanga cheigira janangal and ultimately we know the story kadaisiyaga namakku theriyum israel as a nation failed israel oru desamaga tholvi adandargal you know and so we read through the entire old testament this history agave inda varlaatre palai erpaattu muluvadum vaasikkiro so we come to the new testament apdiyaga pudhi erpaattukku varumbolu and as we come to the new testament pudhi erpaattukku varumbolu we see that this glory is to be seen in his church thanude sabaiyile inda magimai vilanga vendum endru paarkkiro amen amen so we see that the glory of god agave devude magimai is to be manifested through the vessel called the church sabha engira andha paathrathin moolamaga vilanga vendum and we know that when we look into the new testament namakku theriyum pudhiya paathai paarkkum bolude the church at the beginning aarambathile sabha anadhu you know we see that they did reflect the glory of god avargal devanudaiya magimiyai avargal velippadithinaargal amen Amen. Look at how they began on the day of Pentecost. Pentecost in Alile, Epidi, our Lord, Amitta, and the Parangal. But it is said that when we look at the church history, Anna, Sabey, Varlaatte, Nam Parku, Mulade, the church also failed like Israel of old. Palai er part Israel velakal tholvi adinte the pola Sabeyum tholvi adinte the. Yes. Amen. Amen. As we read the book of Revelation, Nam veli purthi mushe the book. We read about the seven churches there. Angi irkre yalle sabey galle parkum bolade. And the Lord said, "I will remove your instrument. Ungalude andha patharam agi adha. I will remove you from your place in the lamp stand. Andha kuttu galke andha thandi lerende adha poodu veen endu soligirar. In other words, the Lord said, "Mele munna ro varthi. How beautiful you may look. Ningal veli puram agi yalle alaga agat terindalum. And maybe placed in." Uh, the golden lamp stand ninga langa vilukku thandile kaanapattalum the lord said you have no significance in my economy ennude thittathile ungalku kurippidathakka idam onnum illai endru solugirar by having a mere form outwardly velippura thotrathai maatram kottirupadinal ungalku idam illai or having a mere profession of things edho kaaryangalai adu pani nimithamaga seivadhu moolamaga he said that only that light that burning 
that constituted life of the sun blazing within that is what i look for avar enna solugirar endral naan erupaagiradhu enna vendal yesu kristuvinudaiya jeevan enge velichamaga prakashikirado adhai maatrame naan virumbugiren i know this is what the lord has been looking for from the beginning aarambathil irundhu idhai thaan devan edirpaathu kondirundhar yes the great concern megapriya akkare and uh, the burden of the church ought to be and the sabayinude baaram enna vaga irukka vendum endral you know to bear the testimony of god for his glory thanudeya magimikkendru devanudeya saatchiyai velanga seivadhaaga irukka vendum yes you know when we turn to the book of zechariah chapter 2 zechariah irandam adhigarathile vaasikkrom we read about their a man holding a plumb line அங்கு ஒரு புருஷன் அளவு நூலை பிடித்திருக்கிறதை பார்க்கிறோம் measuring jerusalem எருசலேமை அளந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார் you know measuring it out for the glory of god தேவனுடைய மகிமைக்காக அவர் அதை அளந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறார் you know and i would like to say to all of us ஆகவே நாம் எல்லோருக்கும் சொல்ல விரும்புகிறேன் this measurement is what really matters even today இன்றும் கூட அந்த அளவு தான் நமக்கு மிக முக்கியமாக இருக்கிறது You know everything boils down to this measurement. In the alavukku than ella kariyengalum vandu mudigirathu. Whether it's measuring up to Christ or not. Kristuvinude alavukku varigiratha illaya enbadhu than kariyam. You know as we said that Zechariah had a vision of the vessel. Appadiyaga andha paathrathai kurithana darshanathai Zechariah kondar endru paartho. You know he had the vision of the vessel. அந்த பாத்திரத்தின் தரிசனத்தை சகரியா கொண்டு நவ let me come back to that again மறுபடியும் மகதருக்கு நான் வருகிறேன் you know that vision of the vessel it speaks about christ himself to begin with அந்த பாத்திரத்தினுடைய தரிசனம் கிறிஸ்துவை மாத்திரமே குறிக்கிறது yes and that is very important அது மிக முக்கியமான ஒன்று yes So as we heard in the past aga venam kadandha mari ketadhu pol our spiritual eyes must be open to behold christ himself kristu thaame paarpadharkku nammudaiya aavikudaiya kangal therakkapada vendum as we heard last week kadandha varam ketome to behold christ as the head of the church thavinudaiya thalaiyaga kristuvai naam paarkka vendum yes sovereign lord ella vallamikku melanavaraga how he is related to the body avar sarirathirkku eppadi thodarbu padathapattirukkar and that he is himself the body avar thame sariramaga irukkar the life of the lord is reflected enge devanudaiya jeevan velippadukirado you know so these are things we need to understand by the holy spirit inda kaaryangalai ella naam aavin moolamaga purindukolla vendum and so the lord says here to sekariah agave inga sekariyaavukku devan solugira you know he says that this candlestick is all of gold inda kutthu vilakkanadhu muluvadhum ponnal seiyapattathu yes the lord wants to express himself in a vessel devan thannai oru paathrathile velippadutha virumbugirar which is all of himself adhu ellam thannudeyavagave irukkirathu with his own testimony adhu thannudeya sonda saatchiye kondu livingly jeevanla and as a flame burning adhu erigira oru vilaga irukkirathu and remember brothers and sisters ulandu kollungal devan our eyes must be open to see that this is what the church idhu dhan savai enbadhu this is what the uh, the lord uh, thinks about the church this is what the church is in his mind idhu dhan deva sindhayile savayaga irukirathu enbadhai naam kaana vendum yes <coughs> so may god open our eyes of understanding agave nammude purigalin kangalai devan therakkattum yes So the Lord wants us to come into a living revelation. आगे वो एक जीवन उल्लेख वाली पाठ रख वरुमड़ी आगे देवन नंबर वरुम ग्रार. Yes. We come into a, a revelation. Now वो एक वाली पाठ रख वरी ग्रो. and as we heard nam ketta the without that real seem by the holy spirit brothers and sisters we cannot be what the lord has called his vessel to be 
தன்னுடைய பாத்திரத்தை தேவன் எப்படியாக வர வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிறாரோ அப்படிப்பட்ட பாத்திரமாக இந்த மாறுவதற்கு நாம் இந்த தரிசனம் இல்லாமல் நாம் முடியாது வர முடியாது You know, many people do not take these, this, this word seriously. Yes. But the Lord says that he is the one who 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 is the one. Yes. You know, but those who really love the Lord, and they are the one who is the one, and have a passion in their heart for the lord devanukendra miginda vairagyam vanjayam kondavargal yes as we heard such a seeing is going to emancipate our lives nam kettathu pola ipidi patta oru paarviyanadu avarude vaalkiyai vidudhalai seiya pogirathu so i would like to say to us today again agave naan marubadi ungalku solugiren the things that we heard about a spiritual understanding Don't set it aside as something we have heard and just over. Agave aavikuriya paarvai endru naam kedkira kaaryangale edho oru kaaryam endru porupadutthamal vittu vida vendam. Yes. Yes, let it become a passion in your heart. Idhu ungal irudhayathile oru vaadhiyaga. Lord, this is my call. Idhu thaan enudaiya alaippu. I am saved to this purpose. Naan indha kaariyathirkaga rachikapattirukkiren. You know and when we have a heart like that. Ippadi patta irudhayathai naam kondirukkum bolude. You know the Holy Spirit will open our eyes. Parshuthaaviyan avar nichayamaga nam kangalai thirappar. And that will emancipate us as we heard. Melum adhu namai vidudhalai aakum naam kettathu pole. That will also bring us to a place of overcoming and sustaining us. Melum andha kariyamanadhu namai jayam kolla chayyum namai nilainirka chayyum. You know this thing will bring us into constituting our our responsibilities in the body of Christ. Apadi patta paraviyanadhu andha sarirathile nammudaiya porupai seigiravargalaga nammai nilainirthum. This is going to hold us together as we heard. Namai ondraga kooti Yes. And I want to say to us once again today morning nothing else will hold us together take it in writing. Agave veri endha kaariyum nammai ondraga pidithu niruthaadu enbadhi neengal eludhikkum. Nothing else will hold us together. Veri endha kaariyum nammai ondraga pidithu niruthaadu. But a holy spirit impart a revelation of the church which is all of gold. அந்த பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவர் சபையை குறித்து அது முழுவதுமாக பொன்னினால் செய்யப்பட்டது என்று சொல்கிறாரே அந்த தரிசனம் இல்லாமல் வேறு எதுவும் நம்மை பிடித்து நிறுத்தாது இட் இஸ் ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட்ஸ் வர்க் டு பிரிங் அஸ் டு தட் பிளேஸ் ஆஃப் அப்ரிஹெண்டிங் திஸ் வண்டர்ஃபுல் ட்ரூத் இந்த அருமையான சத்தியத்தை பிடிப்பதற்கு பரிசுத்த ஆவியானவரே நமக்கு உதவி செய்கிறார் So the 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 angel asked the prophet of God ஆகவே சகரியாவுக்கு அந்த தூதன் கேட்டார் What seest thou? நீ என்ன காண்கிறாய்? What is your vision? உங்களுடைய தரிசனம் என்ன? In the first place. முதலிலே Have you got a vision? உங்களுக்கு ஒரு தரிசனம் இருக்கிறதா? That's one thing I want to ask us. இதை நாம் கேட்க விரும்புகிறேன். Do you have a vision? உங்களுக்கு ஒரு தரிசனம் உண்டா? What seest thou? நீ என்ன காண்கிறாய்? Do you see anything? நீங்கள் எதையும் பார்க்கிறீர்களா? Yes brother, we see you. நான் உங்களை பார்க்கிறேன் என்று சொல்கிறேன். Standing there. Sunday after Sunday. Over night, we come and look at the park room. Can you tell me about it? What seest thou? You guys, what are you doing? What is the answer you have? You guys, what are you doing? What seest thou? You guys, what are you doing? In other words, what is your vision? You guys, what are you doing? In other words, what is your vision? In the first place, you have to see. First of all, you guys, you have to see. First of all, and the lord will then bring in the details adarkku paramaga nichayamaga devan vilakkathe kodupar remember brothers and sisters in everything of life ella jeevanulla kaaryangalum you know everything of progress ella valarchiyin kaaryangalum everything of ministry ella ooliyathin kaaryangalum you know everything springs from this ellam idilirundhu dhaan oot edukirathu please understand this daiva seidhi idai purindukollu in the absence of a holy spirit imparted apprehension understanding of this call this purpose and the church i tell you brothers and sisters we will be 
in utter confusion. Agave, in the Darshan and the Kurte, in the Alepe Kurte, in the Velipate Kurta than a Karium Parchutavinal Namak Koduka Padamalindal, Nam Nichemakawe Kulapatil Kanapodum, in by the Namara Vendum. Remember one thing, everything else counts for nothing. Yes. What seest thou? Ningle in the Kangrigal. You know, the thing is that when you see you are also given the responsibility to say or declare what you see. Ningal Partha Kariate, Ningal Pagan the Gulbadakum, Soluadakum, Ungal Kuru Purpu Kodaka Patina. You know, many a time, Panangale, people talk to some of our people. Janakal Namur got a pet mother. Then they say, I will give you a book. Ungal Kuru Putta Ungurupo. I'll I'll talk to my brother. In Sagar, our brother Joy. Brother Jai and Or our brother Sam. Or our so and so brother. Sam brother Anu Arimu Pakistan. You know, many of us have not seen, therefore we cannot say. Remember, only when you have seen, you can declare it. Yes. 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 Is that vision locked up in you? Yes. Locked up. Yes. It's, it's, it's locked inside. And it's, it flows out. You are able to declare it. Yes. Yes. So what seest thou is what I want to ask us today. After having so much of God's word. What seest thou? Do you have a vision? Some people say our church has got a vision. That's not, that's not enough. It's not enough. The church has a vision. The ministry has a vision. But the question is that do you have a vision? What seest thou? Yes. And that would lead us to a time of prayer. You know, I want to say this with all my heart again to all of us. I see that some of us are just passing time. We are not really serious with what God is speaking. And you know what happens? When a child is not serious about when he or she is being taught in the classes. And the uh, teacher part of the world, the Kulande government Lama Lendal in the Nadakum? No. When Gambir Nahi, Government Lama Lendal, Jacques the Lama Lendal in the Nadakum. You know what happens? In the Nadakum. When the test comes, and the Parichi, when the examination comes, and the Parichi Varumbulade, flop. Told you, I told you, I told so our teacher doesn't teach properly. Our school is not good. They don't teach at all. You can blame everybody. But the problem is that you didn't learn yourself. You know, many a time when situations come and we make an open display of our pathetic spiritual life, we try to put the blame on others. Yes. We see the plumb line in the hand of the man here in Zechariah chapter 2. Yes. And he measures. Now I am not getting into those verses in chapter 2. You know these measurements are necessary. And it matters to us so much today. Yes. The final judgment. Is all in, in the measure of Christ in the church. Yes.
we have lived so many years now, in, in the Lord or we have been saved many years ago. Yes, many years have gone by. Yes. And yet, we realize we have wasted our years. We haven't come into that realization of a great need for a Holy Spirit imparted vision in our lives. Yes. Now, you know, in the book of Zechariah chapter 4, I'm going to conclude here this part of it. You know, Zechariah had a uh, question in his heart. Yes. How can these things be? In the Karyangal Epidi Undahum. Yes. Zechariah had the same problem in his day. Tanudia Nakarilam Sagriavi De Pratanidan. When the vision was given to him, he had questions in his heart. And the answer comes here. And he answered and spake unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Yes. Amen. You know, I want to encourage all of us. You know, many a time we have the question, how can the church come there? How can, you know, the church be all of gold, pure gold. Yes. Amen. Amen. We all have this question. My life can be changed. Can we come to that place? You know, we all have this question. And we know how often this self jumps in. And says, well, you can never be part of it. And the Lord's word is very clear. And the Lord's word is very clear. You know, said it's not by might and by power. But by my spirit. You know, Jesus said, I will build my church. Amen. 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 So we need to realize this is something that God will accomplish for himself through the Holy Spirit. Yes. So this is what he was concerned about. How can this happen? Yes. How can this happen? Do you know? He said, no Lord. I don't know. And he answered and said, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, say the Lord. Yes. And there, thereafter, the Lord tells many other things. I won't get into all that. But what I would like to say here is, our eyes must see. I want to ask you, what do you see? What seest thou? Is there anything that you are seeing at all? Are you really seeing something? And if you are seeing, then we will be able to also live it. And we will also be able to declare it. And therefore I would like to say, brothers and sisters, may the Holy Spirit help us. You know, this is something that we see right through the scripture. The Lord brings something. And he asks his prophets, What seest thou? I see. 
and then he explains adarkapramaga avar adu vilakkugira what it is adu enna vendu and i want to encourage all of us agave naan ungalku solugire do this may be set aside by many many people palaral inda kaaryangal thalli vekkapattirundha i want to tell you those who really love the lord aanal devanal anbu seyapadukira and had a glimpse of that purpose of god in your salvation ungalude நிச்சயமாக நீங்கள் அதிகம் பார்ப்பதற்கு உங்களுக்கு ஒரு நீங்கள் நிச்சயமாக அதிகமாக பார்க்க நமக்கு தெரியும் நம்ம தீல பரிசு தாவியானவர் பிரசவ வேதனை பட்டு கொண்டிருக்கிறார் as i said if we are not going to be open to the spirit of god நீங்கள் பரிசு தாவிக்கு திறந்தவர்களாக இல்லாமல் இருந்தால் i want to tell you one thing ஒரு காரியம் சொல்கிறேன் we will miss god's purpose in our life நம்முடைய வாழ்க்கையிலே தேவனுடைய தீர்மானத்தை நாம் எடுத்துக் கொள்ள வேண்டும் one thing god will not compromise concerning his church ஆகவே தன்னுடைய சபையை குறித்து தேவன் சமரசம் செய்ய மாட்டார் நை கரே and with that i want to move on இதோடு கூட நாம் தொடர்ந்து தியானிக்கலாம் God is not going to compromise in any measure. எந்த அளவிலும் தேவன் சமரசம் செய்ய மாட்டார். You know for he paid the price. ஏனென்றால் அவர் விலைக்கரியம் செலுத்தி இருக்கிறார். Amen. Amen. He paid the price. அவர் விலைக்கரியம் செலுத்தி இருக்கிறார். As we heard, நாம் கேட்டது போல the lack of a spiritual holy spirit imparted seeing is so visible in many lives in this house in the vittilum kuda palarude vaalkaiyile aavikuriya paarvin koraibaadu velippadiyaga therigirathu yes it's visible adhu velippadiyaga therigirathu and the lord is telling this week after week but it doesn't matter to some of us anal indha kaaryathe devan over varumum solli kondirundalum silarku idhu or porutte illamal irukirathu you know what happens enna nadakkum you are not able to overcome நீங்கள் ஜெயம் கொள்ள முடியாமல் இருக்கும் பொழுது you are not able to be built up நீங்கள் கூட்டி கட்டப்படாமல் இருக்கிறீர்கள் you do not experience an emancipating delivering work of god தேவனுடைய விடுதலையின் கிரியை நீங்கள் அனுபவிக்காமல் இருக்கிறீர்கள் you do not find that oneness with the body அந்த சரீரத்தோடு கூட ஒற்றுமை இல்லாமல் இருக்கிறீர்கள் you know all these things are happening in your life right now இப்பொழுது கூட உங்களுடைய வாழ்க்கையில் இவைகள் எல்லாம் நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது but we don't care anal adai kurithu namakku kavalai illai you know you get a throat pain you are worried whether it is corona or not ungalku oru koral valil prachana irundal adu corona endru sandhegapadukireergal bayapadukireergal yeah we are worried adai adai kurithu nam kavalai padugirom we are concerned adai kurithu kavalai padugirom but spiritually anal aavikuri vidamaga we are decay nam nasamai poigirom but we do not care anal nam kavalai padugiradillaye but what can we do in the, at the end anal iridil enna nadakkum that's what the lord asked in the days of jeremiah eremiah vin naankalile idai than devan kekka my people have to have their own way ennudaiya janangal thangalude sonda valiyai virumbugirargal but anal there is an end adarkku oru mudivu undu there is a day of reckoning and kanakku oppavikkapatta naal irukirathu what will you do then and and enna seivirgal we can have our excuses namakku oru saaku poku solalam we can have our own way before men manidhanukku munbaga thanudaiya valiyai kollalam before the elders mooppargalukku munbaga before the parents petrolukku munbaga before others mattorukku munbaga we can have our own way nammude sonda valiyai nam kollalam we can have our justification namakku endru oru nyaya thirpai vaithirukkalam but remember aanal unandu kollungal where do we go nam enge selvom please understand this brothers and sisters daiva seri idu purindukollugal this is the greatest need idu megaperiya oru thevayagum many have left this body palar indha sarirathai vittirtaargal gone away ingirundu poi vittaargal desiring for their own thangalude sonda karyathai vaangithu but spiritually they are living in a wilderness today aanal aavikuriya vadamaga oru paalaivanathil vaalgiraar this is a sad state adhu oru kavalaiyana oru nilai if they have grown on in the lord we would have been happy avargal kristuvukullaga valarndal namakku sandosham dhaan yes come into a greater life of christ 
we would have rejoiced over it kristavunudaiya anda mulu alagu valarthikku vandal namakku sandoshamda anal kavalaiyana kaaryam become one with the world avargal ulagathodu kuda ondrai vittar they lost everything that they had at one time avargal petra kaaryathai ellam ilandu vittar we cannot blame anybody agave ellarayum nam pali solla mudiyadhu please understand this agave neengal daivu seidhu ponnu coming to the second part of the word ippol irandam pagudhikku varuvom vaarthaiyin we heard from the book of ezra ezra avunudaiya they came together avargal ondrai koodi vandargal build the house of god and the veete marubadiyum kattuvatharku vandargal and they built the altar before they could lay the foundation of the temple and the aalayathinudaiya athivarathai paduvatharku munbaga palipidathai avargal thaavithargal now remember that cross is integral part of this walk with the lord ippolude devunodu kuda inda nadakkira nadakkile siluviyanadhu ondrana oru kaariyamaga irukiradhu endru nenikkaru you know we heard many precious uh, counsels of god already agave devunudaiya aalochanai naam erkanave kettirukkiro you know without the cross there is no church siluvai illamal thavai illai without the cross there is no progress in our spiritual life nammude aavikuriya vaalkaiyile valarthi siluvai illamal illai jesus said unless you deny yourself take up the cross you cannot be my disciple you cannot be my disciple yesu sonnar thanne thane virthu siluve edukadavan ennude seethana irukka mudiyadhu today it's all become a teaching it is not a subjective life for majority of born again believers anal indro perumanmayana marubadiyum piranda viswasigalukku idu oru bodhaniyaga irukkirade oliya oru ullana kriyayaga illai All right so we heard the cross has a word god word and also man word in the siluviyanadhu devan pakkavum manidan pakkavum kriya seigirathu endru naam kettom yes towards god and also towards man devanukku neragavum manidanukku neragavum kriya seigirathu endru it clears the way towards god devanukku neraga irukkira paadhai adhu sari seigirathu the right of god in righteousness will be secured in our lives devunudaiya neethiyai devunudaiya adhigarathai neethiyai seyalpaduthukiradhu endru nammude vaalkaiyil kettu and clears everything uh, in the direction of god in our lives nammude vaalkaiyile devunudaiya desil irukkira ella kaaryangalaiyum adhai sari seidhu vali vekkiradhu clears everything and the paadhai sari seigiradhu yes that's what the cross does adhu dhan siluvai seiyum we saw that melum paarthom we also heard last week melum kalandha varam kettu it also clears in the direction of man manidanudaiya pakkathil irukkira andha paadhaiyum adhu sari seigiradhu yes you know and we know this idhukku namakku theriyum as we shared also during the week kalandha varam nam you know many believers have this idea pala viswasigal ipdi nenaikkirargal i can somehow live this spiritual life with god எப்படியோ தேவனோடு கூட இந்த ஆவிக்குரிய வாழ்க்கையை வாழ்ந்து விடலாம் மற்றவர்களோடு இல்லாம ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் ப்ரோக்ரஸ் இஸ் ஜஸ்ட் மீ அண்ட் காட் அவருடைய ஆவிக்குரிய வளர்ச்சி தேவனும் அவர்களும் மாத்திரமே இஸ் நாட் த ட்ரூத் ஆனால் அது உண்மை அல்ல If you want to be in the purpose of God. நீங்கள் தேவ தீர்மானத்தில் இருக்க விரும்பினால் and you want to really grow. நீங்கள் உண்மையாக வளர விரும்பினால் into the things of Christ. கிறிஸ்துவனுடைய காரியங்களில் வளர விரும்பினால் you want to be built up as a body of believers. நீங்கள் ஒரு சரீரமான சபையாக கூட்டி கட்டப்பட விரும்பினால் you want to be a local church. நீங்கள் உள்ள சபையாக இருக்க விரும்பினால் a living organism. ஒரு உயிரோட்டமான ஒரு சரீரமாக இருக்க விரும்பினால் a functioning body of believers apdiyaga kriya seigiradana angathinaraga remember it's not enough that i have god enakku devan irukkar endru podumana illa it's not me and god idu naanum devan endralla you need to get things right with others in the body of christ analum ningal devude sirire sabhile ningal mattavarod kuda kaaryangalai sari padutha vendum you know there are so many but some of these things have come into the church sila kaaryangal sabaikullaga vandirukirathu You know this is seen all over the world today. இது உலகம் முழுவதையும் நாம் இதை பார்க்கிறோம். You know me and God. நானும் என் தேவனும் மாத்திரம். That is how I am going to grow. இப்படி தான் நான் வளர போகிறேன். But I want to tell you that is not going to help you to grow. ஆனால் உங்களை வளர்ச்சிக்கு இது உதவாது என்று நான் சொல்கிறேன். You know we are to grow together with God's people. நாம் தேவ ஜனங்களோடு கூட கூட்டி சேர்ந்து வளர வேண்டும். Look at that from the book of um, Ephesians. இத எபேசியன் ரூபத்திலே வாசிக்கலாம். Yes, we know that scripture but அந்த வேதம் பத்தி நமக்கு தெரியும். The book of Ephesians. எபேசிய புத்தகம். Verse 17. Now we'll read even 
before that but for one of the read seven in that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth length depth and height chapter 3 and to know the love of Christ which passeth all knowledge that he might be filled with all the fullness of god visvasathinaale kristu ungal hridayangalile vaasamaa irukkavum neengal anbile veerundri nilai pettavargalagi sagala parichuthu vanangalodu kuda kristinudaiya anbin agalamum neelamum aalamum veeramum innadendru unarnde arivikkattada anna anbai arivi arindukolla vallavargalagavum now listen carefully ippadi konamaai kelungal you can accept christ alone neengal thaniyaga yesu vettukondirukkalam You don't need multitudes of people with you. Other ke thala na thang. You can accept Christ in your own bedroom. Ungalde ya sonda padke raile. Or or maybe in a church hall. Illa vital sabile. Anywhere alone. It doesn't depend upon anybody. Yenge vendu mal. Taniye nengal eight kondi. You can be baptized even alone. Nengal taniya ka yana thala mum petir under. Or maybe with a few people. Illa vital chala thangal. You can be baptized in the Holy Spirit even alone. Nengal parthu thavi na bichete taniya ka mum perala. It happened with me like that. Yana ka apri thana rande the. But if you want to grow in Christ, anal kirtu kulaga nengal valara viri bina. I cannot grow it all by myself. Naan thaniyaga valara mudiyadi. I need others. That's what the scripture says. Yena ke matta varigal thevey. Adi dhan. You know, if you want to grow into the uh, come into the height and the breadth and the depth and you know all that. We must be together with the believers. ஆகவே நீங்கள் அகலத்திற்கும் நீளத்திற்கும் ஆழத்திற்கும் உயரத்திற்கும் வர விரும்பினால் நீங்கள் மற்ற பரிசுத்தவான்கள் உங்களோடு கூட தேவை. Chapter 4 again tells us the same thing. இதே காரியத்தை தான் 4 ஆம் அதிகாரமும் சொல்கிறது. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the son of God under a perfect man under the stature of the uh, under the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. மேலும் நாம் அனைவரும் தேவனுடைய குமாரனை பற்றும் விசுவாசத்திலும் அறிவிலும் ஒருமைப்பட்டவர்களாகி கிறிஸ்துவனுடைய நிறைவான வளர்ச்சியின் அளவுக்கு தக்க பூர்ண பொருட்சராக வரைக்கும் பதினோராம் வசனம் நாலாம் அதிகாரம் Yes all right now we see these scriptures very clearly ஆகவே இந்த வேத வசனம் தெரிவாக If you have to grow on into maturity you cannot do it just all alone agave ningal paripurnathirku valara virumbinal ningal thaniyaga valara mudiyadu amen amen that's where the body of christ comes anga dhan kirtivin sariram varigirathu that is where the building together takes place anga dhan kooti kattapadigirom that's where a functioning local body of believers you know that is definitely necessary for all of us aga anga dhan ange ullur sabai jeevanulla sabai namakku thevai padigirathu not mere congregations but a living body where christ is the head anal edho oru kootam koodugirad alla enge christ thalayaga irukkararo andha jeevanulla oru sariramaga sabai so whatever in the church agave sabaiyila enna irundhalum whatever we see in the church nam sabaiyila enna the paarkrom by nature it should be that of christ adhu subhavathile christuvaga irukka vendum amen amen so everything that is other than christ has to be dealt and taken away by the cross in Aga, our lives agave nammude vaalkaiyile kristu allada ella kaaryangalum silivaiyinal nam vaalvil irundhu edukapadavendum that clears the ground for god to work adhu dhan devan kriya seigiradana oru sthanathai undaakugirathu god brings in a demarcation as we heard last week kadandha varam ketam devan oru adayala kuriye podugirar between what is by nature that of christ and that is not of christ kirtuvin swabhavathirkum kirtu allada swabhavathirkum idayile kuriyite podugirar yes amen amen now this all may sound very funda high funda idella miga uyarnda kaaryamaga so high brother joy sagara jai you can ever come there nam inga varave mudiyadhu well if god has called you to a high calling devan ungalai inda parama alaipir kalathirundal well what should god do devan enna seiya vendum solla for you to come in he bring it down adarkaga andha thanathai avar keela irakkuvara or he will tell you come up illa vittal devan solvara mele vaa this is what we saw from the book of zechariah idai dhan zechariah putha not by might 
பலத்தினாலும் not by power பராக்கிரமத்தினாலும் but by his spirit என்னோட ஆவியினாலே ஆகும் so it is god who will do this work ஆகவே தேவன் தான் இந்த கிரியையை செய்வார் and god has his beautiful instrument the cross to work in us அதற்கென்று அவருடைய அருமையான ஆயுதமான சிலுவையை நமக்குள்ள கிரியையை செய்ய வைத்திருக்கிறார் we heard many things பல காரியம் கேட்டோம் we saw from the book of nehemiah last week கடந்த வாரம் நெகமியா புத்தகத்திலே பார்த்தோம் how many things are found in the house of god which are not christ கிறிஸ்துவுக்கு அல்லாத காரியங்கள் அந்த தேவனுடைய வீட்டிலே பல காரியங்கள் காணப்பட்டது yes not of christ கிறிஸ்து அல்லாத காரியம் so many things பல காரியங்கள் and nehemiah was very strong in his stand தன்னுடைய நிலையிலே உறுதியாக நெகமியாக இருந்தார் and today we lack men like nehemiah அப்படிப்பட்ட நெகமியை போல மனிதர்களை நாம் குறைவாக காணுகிறோம் majority of leaders are fearful of you know their people leaving the congregation பல தலைவர்கள் தங்களுடைய சபையை விட்டு ஜனங்கள் போய் விடுகிறார்களே போய் விடுவார்களோ என்று பயப்படுகிறார்கள் yes fear of their ministry being affected avarude uliyam paadikapadumo engira bayathil irukkira now listen carefully brothers and sisters if your ministry is not affecting god's purpose ungalude uliyam anadhu then you are only concerned of about how it is affecting you i mean that is not god's work agave ungalude uliyam anadhu devane baadhi that's not god's work not word தேவனுடைய காரியமானது உங்களுடைய ஊழியத்திலே காணப்படவில்லை என்றால் உங்களை குறித்தே நீங்கள் சிந்தையாக இருந்தால் அதுல எந்த ஒரு பயனும் இல்லை So please understand this. ஆகவே இது தெய்வ சேது புரிந்து. You know many a time we are misunderstood. பல நேரங்களில் நாம் தவறாக புரிந்து. We are ill spoken. நாம் தவறாக பேசப்படுகிறோம். We are called by many names. நாம் பல நாமங்களினால் அழைக்கப்படுகிறோம். Because we are wanting the fullness of Christ in our lives. ஏனென்றால் நாம் கிறிஸ்துவுடைய முழுமையை நம் வாழ்விலே விரும்புகிறோம். Yes. You know if the Lord has called Israel out of the land of Egypt. எகிப்து தேசத்திலிருந்து தேவன் அவர்களை வெளியே எடுத்திருந்தால் இஸ்ரவேலர்களை. Amen. Yes or no? Did they come out in their own strength? தங்களுடைய பலத்தில் அவர்கள் வெளி வந்தார்களா? By their might and power? அவருடைய பலத்தினாலும் பராக்கிரமத்தால் வந்தார்களா? இல்லை. And they always sang that song. அவர்கள் எப்பொழுதும் அந்த பாடலை பாடினார்கள். How great and wonderful things you have done Lord. தேவனே எங்களுக்கு அருமையான இந்த காரியத்தை செய்தீர். But when the Lord said, ஆனால் தேவன் சொன்ன, I will bring you to the land. அந்த தேசத்திற்கு கொண்டு வருவேன். Which I promised to your fathers. உங்கள் பிதாக்கள் வாக்குத்தத்தை மன்னப்பட்டது. Then the same people said you cannot. அதே ஜனங்கள் சொன்னார்கள் அது உன்னால் முடியாது. Yes or no? உண்மைதானே? Thank you very much. You know so what happened? ஆகவே என்ன நடந்தது? You know this is where even today Christianity is stuck. இங்க தான் கிறிஸ்துவம் இங்க தேங்கி Everybody says we cannot save ourselves. நம்மை நாமே ரட்சிக்க முடியாது என்று சொல்கிறோம். எல்லாரும் சொல்கிறோம். Yes. We cannot save ourselves. நம்மை yes நாமே no? ரட்சிக்க முடியாது. Amen. Amen. Can we save ourselves? நம்மை நாம் ரட்சிக்க முடியும். No, we cannot save ourselves. நம்மால் நம்மை ரட்சிக்க முடியாது. Who can save us? Christ. கிறிஸ்து தான் நம்மை ரட்சிக்க முடியும். But Christ also said. ஆனால் இயேசு சொன்னார். I will present to myself. என்னை எனக்காக a bride without spot and wrinkle. ஒரு கரைதிரையற்ற ஒரு மணவாட்டியை நான் கொல்வேன் என்று சொல்லியிருக்கிறார். But all the Christians say. ஆனால் எல்லா கிறிஸ்தவர்களும் That is not possible. அது முடியாது என்று சொல்கிறார்கள். That's only possible when we go to heaven after death. நீங்கள் மரணித்த பிறகு பரலோகம் சென்ற பொழுது மட்டுமே அது முடியும் என்று சொல்கிறார்கள். Why is that? Yen adhe. So we see a convenient Christianity today. Agave thangalukku ugandha which says God can cleanse us and wash us and save us but he cannot bring us into that life of the son. Anal devan a full expression. Devan engale kalivi suthikarikka mudiyum anal kristunude kumarnudeya jeevanukku mulumiyaga kondu vara mudiyadhu illa satta. It's a deception. இது ஒரு ஏமாற்றம் தான். It's a strong word, but I need to use that. இது ஒரு பலமான வார்த்தை தான். The Bible is very clear in the New Testament. ஆனால் புதிய ஏற்பாட்டில் வேதம் தெளிவாய் சொல்கிறது. Look at all the letters of Paul. பவுலினுடைய நிருபங்களிலே he wrote with a great burden. மிகப்பெரிய பாரத்தோடு கூட எழுதி இருக்கிறார். To all the churches. எல்லா சபைகளுக்கும். That they are not to miss the purpose of God having been saved baptized and filled in the spirit apadiyaga marubadiyum pirandha gyanasthanam pettu parichutha aagiye pettu i should go on inda deva thirumana thilaka koodadhu endru somebody said this man doesn't look he is not well agave thorandhu dhyanikkar well your prayer has been answered <laughs> so i can go on all right praise god 
you know so we see that agave na paarkiro if we if we know that we have been called into that fullness and the mulumaiki devan nammai alaithirukkar endru nam ariyum bolude yes which is god's thought for his church thanude sabaiki devude sindha iduvaga dhaan irukkirathu amen what did he say avar enna sonnar you know he did not die for something abstract edho oru kannukku theriyada oru kaariyathukkaga marikkavillai he died for something specific adhu oru kurippana kaariyathukkaga marikkavillai he loved the church and gave himself for her devan thavai anbu kurndu adarkaga thammai thammai oppu koduthirukkar this is what your bible says idhu dhaan ungalde vedam solugirathu search and find it out adhai neengal thedi kandupidiyeng don't go after some preachers edho oru prasangar pinnal poga vendam but go to the bible and read it anal vedathirkku sendu vaasi the holy spirit will reveal that to you parthu thaviyana varu ungal kaanvithu kodupa not by might balathinalum alle not by power parakramathinalum alle but by my spirit anal navin aagu the holy spirit has given the power he has been empowered by the father to perform this work inda kriyai nerivetti mudipadharkai pidavinal parishuddha aaviyana avarku anda vallamai valangapattirukirathu so the fullness in christ agave kirtuvinude paripurnam is god's thought for his church thanude sabaiki devude sindhai aayirukirathu it is a thought for you and me ungalku menakku madhe sindhai dhaan and for that the cross has to come powerfully into our lives adarkaga siluvayanadhu nammude vaalkile adhigalavu vallamiyai kriya seiyavendum very drastically mega adhigalavu down to our lives nammude vaalkin adipagam vare sellavendum cleaving and cutting between what is of man in himself and what is of christ manidhudaiya kaariyathirkum kristuvin kaariyathirkum edaipatta yes kaariyangalile and siluvayanadhu adipagam vare sendu kriya seiyavendum you know keeping that difference always visible eppozhudum indha vithyasathai keeping that difference always visible eppozhudum indha vithyasathai velippadiyaga therigira vidhamaga veikavendum very distinct megavum veru paadanadhu very clear mega telivaga veikavendum you know this is what cross will do idhu dhaan silivai seiyum not an objective cross idhu edho oru dooramaga irukkira silivai alla but the subjective cross ana namakullaga kriya seigira silivai this will draw demarcations and draw lines of separation in the silavayanade pirivin and the or kotai adu namakullaga podum now listen something very very carefully and seriously now ipolude miga gavanamaga jagrathai kelungal you will notice one thing ningal or kaariyathe kaanga that the holy spirit is very uncompromising parishuddha aviyanavar samarasamatra words that i am using The Holy Spirit is very uncompromised. Parshutta aviyanavar mega samarasamatravar. Yes. We must never think that naam nenikave koodadhu. The patience and the forbearance of the spirit with us means a compromise on his part. Devarudaiya porumaiyum devarudaiya dayavum avar samarasam seigiraro endru naam nenikka koodadhu. I will say that again. Marubadiyum solugiren. The Holy Spirit is very uncompromising. Parshutta aviyanavar samarasamatravar. We must never think that. Naam nene keve kodaadi. Patience and forbearance. Anna dayavum avaru nee nee. On the part of the Holy Spirit. Avaru deya parshutta aviyanavar. With each one of us. Namal kanvi kire. We never mean compromise on his part. Adi samarasam seigra arinte artha malle. The Holy Spirit, Parshutta Aviyanavar, the Lord, Devan, may treat us gently and kindly. Namme avar dayavai narathalam, nede sandamai narathalam. For a time. Sila kalangalke. But the time will come. Anal velai varum. When the Lord would say, Devan solvar, I have borne with you so long. Ivalu vur galam nede parmiya ungalodu gude irundein. For a long time. Nindha kalamai. I did bear things naan, with you. Naan ungal kaga naan purmiya irinde. On this matter. In the kariya thilum. In that on that matter. And the kariya thilum. And you have been presuming. Ningal ana linnette kundi rigal. You have been presuming. Ningal linnette kundi rigal. And what you have been presuming. Ningal ana linnette rigal. You have been presuming. Ningal linnette kundi rigal. Ungal kulla kabe. About my patience. Yennu deya purmiya kuri the. about my long suffering ennudaiya neediya saandathai kurithu on my mercifulness towards you ungalku neraga naan kaanvikkira irakkathai kurithu my kindness towards you ungalku kaanvikkira dayavai kurithu 
and you have interpreted நீங்கள் அதை உங்களுக்காகவே மொழிபெயர்த்து my patience with you நான் உங்களுக்கு காண்பிக்க நேடிய பொறுமை as though i am condoning your flesh உங்களுடைய மாம்சத்தை நான் மறைத்து வைக்கிறேனோ மறைத்து வைக்கிறேன் என்று நினைக்கிறீர்கள் shamane sahan kar raha adai naan taangi kolgiren endru nenikireergal did you hear sagithu kolgiren endru nenikireergal you know many a time we are found here let's be honest agave idai nermaiyai sollungal pala nerangalil ipdi kaanapadugiromey we take the long suffering of god devarudaiya neediya porumiyai his patience avarudaiya dayavai his mercifulness avarudaiya irakkathai his kindness avarudaiya neediya thaandathai dayavai and we interpret that naam eppadi nenikirom that the holy spirit is just winging at us avar namme kandukollamal vittu vidugirar endru naam nenikirom yeah and controlling our flesh nammude maamsathai avar sagithikollugirar endru nenikirom that the holy spirit is not really serious and particular about those matters and the karyate kurithu unmayagave parusutha aaviyanavar jaakrathiya illai kavanama illai endru nenikirom in deva janangale that is our attitude eppadi than nammude mana paanmai irukkirathu even though we have might have not said it adhe naam sollamal irundhalum kuda even though we have not said it naam adhe naam vaayinal arikai seiyamal irundhirkalam yes that is what it exactly amounts to in our life anal naam adhe sollamile appadi dhaan sollugirom yes please remember devu seidhu purindukollungal you know we may think naam nenaithukollalam The Holy Spirit is not very serious about this. इधे कुरते फर्चु ताव्यान अवर. The Lord is not very serious about this matter. इन्द कार्य ते कुरते अवर जाकर दे यल्लाई. इधर के अवर के अदु पुरुटांग नहीं के बिल्लाई. Because He has been long suffering with you and me on those matters. ये न डाल इन्द कार्य तले नमोड़ कुडा मिगे परुमिया अवर इरिंद कोण्डरी करा बड़ी नाल. Please listen carefully. आगे वे गाउन माय के लंगल. But not forever. अनाल इंद It is my attitude and your attitude. आधे नांगल नामम निंगल मापने नहीं करो. That we say. नाम चली करो. The Lord will not be very serious about this matter. इन्द कार्य ते कुरते फिर दाग का देव निर्देश कोल्ला माटा आरेंडे नाम नहीं करो. But I want to tell us, brothers and sisters. आना इन देव जने गले नाम चली करें. But the time comes. वेले बंदे बिटे दे. As the word of God says in. the book of 1 peter 4 and 17 the, ju- the the judgment must begin at the house of god and the nyaya thirpanad deva veetil irund aarambikka vendum endru solugirathu yes so remember agave unarungal as the days go on apdiyaga naalkal sellum poludhu the holy spirit is going to be uncompromising he is uncompromising but he will begin to show his uncompromising nature over your life and mine parusutha aviyanavar samarasamattravaraga dhaan irukkirar avar andha samarasamattra thanmaiyai ungalude vaalkaiyile kaanvikka aarambippar you know the holy spirit is not going to indefinitely allow us to continue in this thing and that thing which always we wing at and take it not seriously in our life agave nammude vaalkile naam nammude vaalkile pala kaaryangalile naam kandukollamal irukkirome parshutha aaviyanavarum apadiyagave sella maatar endrendrikku mudivillada padi apadiyagave ungalai vittu vida maatar yes the holy spirit parshutha aaviyanavar does not indefinitely permit us to hold on to those things of the flesh and the self and the maamsathin karyathiyum suyathiyum karyathiyum mudivillada mudivillamal naam pidithukollum padiyaga vidamaatar jo kaari hai unke unke prati wo ab sahanshi nahi rahe yes oh may god help us agave let's hear the lord today brothers and sisters devanukku naam sevi kodupom deva janangale let's hear the lord's voice today devude satyathirkku naam sevi kodupom How often we are found in that place. And the other thing, we will have to go and come and pray. Where our attitude is always. Namude manapan mugi. That okay. Parva illai. The Lord understands me. Devan enne purindi golvar. Yes. Eppadi ayi rikire. But I want to tell us. Aga venan chola vermugi. The Holy Spirit is uncompromising on His part. Parshuta aviyanavar idai kurite samarasamatra varai rikira. Yes. 
and he will come in close avar vande adai mudipa and he will begin that stern strong work in our lives nammude vaalkaiyile adha urudhiyana kriyai nammude vaalkaiyile avar aarambippa you know in god's mind devunude sindhayile the cross is intended to clear the way siluviyanadu andha valiyai andha paadhiyai sari seivadharkagave irukirathu yes that there is nothing else but only christ and christ is left in our lives and in our midst nammude vaalvile nammude mathilum kuda christu vallada christu vallada kaaryangal irukka koodadhu and brothers and sisters christu mathrame irukka vendum said it may all sound very high and lofty agave idu miga uyaramana kaaryamaga theriyalam and you know unbelief comes into us namakku melum andha avisvasam varugirathu is it ever possible idu mudiyuma well if it is god who began idu devanal aarambikkapattirundal then what he will do avar enna seivar he will leave it half done அதை பாதியிலே முடித்து விடுவார் மாட்டார் 30 years he was in the carpentry shop avar 30 varadam tatchanaga irundar yes i am sure he never left any furniture half done endha oru porulaiyum avar paadiyaga mudithavaraga kaanapattirukka maatar endru naan nikke irukiren he never did that adhe avar eppozhudum seidadillai he always completed it avar eppozhudume adhai mudikkavaraga irundar you know and we need to understand this idhai nam puriya vendum this is the nature of god idhai dhan devanudaiya subhavam even when the people of god in fear of things and many other considerations stop the work of the building of the house of god he sent the prophets to prophesy encourage them and to complete the house melum isravin kalathile deva janangal bayathinalum matra kaaryathinalum deva aalayam kattapaduvade niruthinalum kuda devan thirukadarasigale anupi thirukadarasanam solli andha thirupaniyai avar neravetri mudita endru paarkirom so saints quickly to move on god's thought about the church aagave sabaiye kurithu thana deva sindhai nam paarpom is that it should be the full measure of christ adhe kristuvinudaiya mulu alava irukka vendum enbadha irukirathu yes yes throughout the bible we are able to see this reflected inda kaaryam velippadathapattukirathu veda muluvadhum nam paarkalam you know we cannot have christ as one thing and church as another thing agave kristuvayum sabayum nam pirithu paarkka mudiyadhu you know please let us be cleansed in our minds agave nammude sindhaye nam kaluvuvom yes the we are programmed with a lot of watered down man centered gospel agave yerkanave namakku andha thannir kalappulla andha uthisesham manithanal undaagapatta uthisesham christ cannot be one thing and the church you know cannot be another thing agave kristuvayum sabayum nam veru veraga pirithu paarkka mudiyadhu church sabai masiki de or masi alag alag cheeda nahi hota church salisya ah it cannot be two different things adhi irandu veru patta karyangal alla amen apdi agirukku what do you think are the two different things avigal irandu veru patta karyangala are the same thing ore karyam dhan christ is the head kristu thalayanavar and the body of christ is the church melum kristu nudaiya sariram sabai is supposed to be same adhi irandu ondraga irukka vendiyathu yes so wherever you find the church agave engellam sabaiye paarkireergalo you will find that the church is christ adhe sabai kristu dhan endru paarkirom felicia masi yes muskil hai na bolne mein saaf karna chahiye you know it's very difficult agave idu kadinam we have been so programmed nam yerkanave pala karyangala irukrom you know and we must be cleansed of this man made gospel inda manithanal undaakapatta suvishethathil nam kaluvapada vendum Christ and the church is the same. Kristuvum sabayum ondru dhan. Now for example take the example of tabernacle. Ippolude udharanathirkku kooda aatharippu kodarathai paarungal. The tabernacle in the Old Testament. Palai erpaattu irukkira aatharippu. In the days of Moses. Mose in naatkalile. You know you cannot get away from the fact. Andha unmaiyil irundhinga veli varamudiyadhu. 
that the tabernacle represents something corporate and the aathirippu koodaram anadhu kootu manidhanai velippaduthukirathu you know all those boards around there adhai sutti irukkira ella palagaigalum you know they are all brought together and put together avigal ellam kondu varapattathu onraga katti vekkapattathu you know they are bound together avigal ellam onraga serkapattathu into one ore karyamaga you cannot get away from the fact that it's a type of the church adhu sabaiyudaiya maadhiri dhaan engira unmaiyil irundhu neengal vilagi pogave mudiyadhu yes when you look again the tabernacle marubadi maasarippu kodarathai paarungal yes we know that the tabernacle is nothing else but the picture of christ himself aadhirippu kodaram enbadhu vera ondrum alla kristuvanudaiya chithram da it's all christ adhu ellam kristu dhaan every bit of that old tabernacle is christ and the palai arbaatil irukkira and aadhirippu kodarathinudaiya ovvor pagudhiyum kristu dhaan every substance every form every measurement it's all christ ovvor alavum ovvor maadhiriyum ella kaaryangalum porulkalum kristu dhaan You know that's why the Lord said let them make me a sanctuary. ஆகவே தேவன் சொன்னார் அவர்கள் எனக்கு ஒரு வாசஸ்தலத்தை உண்டாக்கு. I will give them the plan. நான் அவர்களுக்கு திட்டத்தை கொடுப்பேன். Nothing of man was ever allowed in that structure. அந்த இடத்திலே மனிதனுடைய கரம் ஒன்றுமே இல்லை. Everything was had a measurement. எல்லாவற்றுக்கும் அளவு இருந்தது. And everything was the picture of Christ. எல்லாம் கிறிஸ்துவனுடைய சித்திரம் தான். And and that's what we read in the book of uh, hebrews edai dan hebrew ellam vaasikrom chapter 8 etam adhigaram verse 5 5th vasanam who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things as moses was admonished of god when he was about to make the tabernacle he was admonished of god அப்படியே மோசே கோளாரத்தை உன்னால் உன்ன பண்ண போகையில் மலையிலே உனக்கு காண்பிக்கப்பட்ட மாதையின்படியே நீ எல்லாவற்றையும் செய் எச்சரிக்கையாயிரு என்று தேவன் அவருக்கு கட்டளையிட்டான் மலையிலே உனக்கு காண்பிக்கப்பட்ட மாதையின்படியே நீ கட்டுவாயாக என்று கட்டளையிட்டார் ஏன் தெரியுமா வாட் மோசஸ் வாஸ் மேக்கிங் வாஸ் நதிங் எல்ஸ் but the shadow and type of christ himself anal mose katti kattiyadhu edhu theriyuma adhu kristuvinudaiya maadhiriyum roopamumaa irukkira kaaryamaagum we need to understand this idhai naam purindukolla vendum god never allowed anything of man to come in manidhanudaiya kai ullae varuvadhukku devan anumadhikave illai let them make avargal undaakattum let them make avargal undaakattum for me to dwell naan maasam panna but i will show them the pattern aanal adudaiya maadhiriye naan naan kaanvippen and as we read chapter 39 and 44 exodus yathraagama 39 40th adhigaram 39 40 we read there that moses examined ange and he said it is according to the pattern adhu maadhirin padiyaga irukkirada endrai mose sari paarthar endru ange naam vaasikkirom the whole chapter 13 and 40 is repeating the same thing as the lord commanded moses as the lord commanded moses adhu yathra 39 40 vasanangal muluvadumaga adhigaram muluvadumaga devan moses sonnadhu pole take it for granted Uh, i just would like to read one script portion from there angave angu to just encourage many of my young brothers and sisters vali pillegalai utsaga paduthuvadharku naan vaasikiren chapter uh, 39 Verse forty-two. Yathra hamam. According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel made all the work. Kadhi kadhi Moses kattaiyil 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 kattai
Amen. Moses was admonished by God. Devan avarku kattalai kodutha. That you do not change the pattern I have shown to you in the mount. Malaiyile unakku naan kodutha maadhiriye maatra koodadhu endra. Because it was the pattern of Christ. Yen endral adu kristavin maadhiri. You know everything was of Christ. Ellam kristavaga irukirathu. Yes. And so Moses looked upon. Agave Moses thari paartha. And then we see the glory came upon that அர்த்தம் <laughs> though they are one avigal still has his own entity please understand this avigal ondraga irundalum kristuvanavar thanipatta devathuvathinudaiya aathathuvam agirkar and his church avarum sabayum they are one ondru dhan but you and i and christ are not the same aanal neengalum kristuvum ondrave we need to understand this idai purindukolla vendum i would not dare to say that i am christ naan christi endru naan dhairyamaga solla mudiyadhu can you say that no we cannot say that naan solla mudiyadhu christ and the church are one and yet christ is another entity altogether as well kirthavum sabayum ondru dhan aanal kirthuvanavar thanipatta aal thathuvamaga deva thuvathile kaanapadukkar yes christ as his own entity at the son of the living god amen apadiyaga jeevanulla devudey kumaranaga avar thanipatta namar so we are a different entity agave yet we are in union with christ and we become his body amen this is a mystery agave inda ragathiyam ellavathal avarodu kuda nam ineindhu sariramaga ondraga ore this is what the lord says in ephesians chapter 5 This is a great mystery. Ephesians 5:5 says this is a great mystery. Which is Christ and the church. Amen. Hallelujah. May God open our eyes of understanding. If you have a physics mind it's difficult to understand. Agavede arivalin sindhai ungalku udavi seyadinge. So remove that physics mind. Agave inda yerbel sindhai neengal eduthu podungal. May God help us. Devan namakku udavi seyattum. Bring in the Holy Spirit. Parshutha aavanavare ulle kondu varungal. Oh may the holy spirit help us brothers and sisters. Aviyana varnam kodavi seyatum en devajanangale. So there is a great need today for an outworking of this cross in my life and your life. Aagave ennude vaalilum ungade vaalkilum kirthinude siluvaiyude kiriyin velipaadu kaanapada vendum. You know we we were singing that song today. Indru kuda nam or paadale paadinom. Yes. You you desire the church Christ uh, you desire the that Christ to be glorified நீங்கள் கிறிஸ்துவானவர் மகிமைப்பட வேண்டும் என்று விரும்புகிறீர்களா do you desire நீங்கள் விரும்புகிறீர்களா we were singing this morning father be glorified father பிதாவே உங்களை நாங்கள் மகிமைப்படுத்துகிறோம் if father should be glorified பிதா மகிமைப்பட வேண்டும் என்றால் if christ should be glorified கிறிஸ்துவான மகிமைப்பட வேண்டும் என்றால் then the church should come into her fullness and perfection in christ கிறிஸ்துவுக்குள்ளாக சபையானது அதனுடைய முழுமைக்கும் நிறைவுக்கும் வர வேண்டும் amen Do you understand that? உங்களுக்கு புரியுகிறதா? Please accept that truth in your heart. உங்கள் இதயத்தில் இதை ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளுங்கள் இந்த சத்தியத்தை. You know God can never be glorified. தேவன் மகிமைப்படவே முடியாது. If his church is people are living in defeat. சபையிலே தேவ ஜனங்கள் தோல்வியாக வாழ்ந்தால் தேவன் மகிமைப்படவே முடியாது. Amen. Amen. Please understand. இதை புரிந்துகொள்ளுங்கள். Everybody is talking about Christ is coming back, coming back, coming back. எல்லாரும் கிறிஸ்துவானவர் திரும்பி வருகிறார், திரும்பி வருகிறார் என்று சொல்கிறார்கள். I also believe that he is coming back. நானும் விசுவாசிக்கிறேன் அப்படித்தான். But the Bible also says what he is coming back for. ஆனால் எதற்காக வருகிறார் என்று வேதமும் சொல்கிறது. He is not just sitting and sleeping there and suddenly he wakes up and can't wants to come back. அவர் ஏதோ உட்கார்ந்து உறங்குகிறார் திடீர் என்று கிளம்பி வருவார் என்று அல்ல. The Bible says very clearly what he is coming back for. எதற்காக அவர் வருகிறார் என்று வேதம் தெளிவாய் சொல்கிறது. Acts chapter 3 19 to 21 makes it very clear. அப்போஸ்தல நபிகள் 3 19 That the heavens will retain Christ until all that has been spoken by the Mouth of the holy prophets are fulfilled. பரிசுத்த திருக்கதரிசிகள் வாயினாலே உரைத்த எல்லா காரியங்களும் நிறைவேறி தீரும் வளவும் பரலோகம் அவரை பிடித்திருக்க வேண்டும் என்று தெளிவாய் வேத வசனம் சொல்கிறது. ஜப்த குவாத்து கூரினே யோலாதி தத்தக்கு ஸ்வர்க மசிபுசாமி. Amen. Amen. 
How was his first coming? அவருடைய முதல் வருகை எப்படி இருந்தது? He prepared. அவர் ஆயத்தப்படுத்தினார். And in the fullness of time. அந்த காரியம் வந்த பொழுது. He came. வேளை வந்த பொழுது அவர் வந்தார். Amen. அந்த திரியிலே பிறந்தார். There is no emergency with God. ஆகவே தேவனுக்கு அவசரம் இல்லை. God has no emergencies. தேவனுக்கு அவசரம் இல்லை. And we create them. But God doesn't create it. ஆனால் தேவன் Even man's emergencies are no emergency for God. மனிதனுடைய அவசரம் தேவனுடைய அவசரம் ஆக இல்லை. நாம் தான் அவசரப்படுகிறோம். So listen very carefully. ஆகவே கவனமாக கேளுங்கள். Christ is coming back. கிறிஸ்து திரும்பி வருகிறார். And every man that had this hope what he does? இந்த நம்பிக்கை கொண்டிருக்கிற ஒவ்வொருவனும் என்ன செய்கான்? Every man has this hope he goes into the world. இந்த உலகத்திற்கு enjoys the world. சொல்கிறானா? அப்படி சொல்கிறதா? Every man who has a got this hope he goes on a trip. அவன் சுற்றுலாக்கு செல்கிறான் என்று சொல்கிறதா? No. இல்லை. Every man who has this hope இந்த நம்பிக்கை கொண்டிருக்க. He is engaged in something. அவன் ஒரு காரியத்தில் ஈடுபடுகிறான். அது என்ன? He purified himself. Avan thannai thannai thuthai 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 அப்படி சொல்கிறவர்கள் அந்த பரிசுத்த சுத்திகரிக்கவில்லை என்றால் அந்த நம்பிக்கை அவர்களுக்கு வீணாய் போகும் ப்ளீஸ் நவ ஐ நோ தட் ஐ கேன் பி மிஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டூட் அண்ட் ஐ கேன் பி மிஸ் ரெப்ரசன்டட் பை பீப்பிள் எனக்கு தெரியும் ஜனங்கள் என்னை தவறாக சித்தரிக்கிறார்கள் புரிந்து கொள்கிறார்கள் ஆனால் தேவ வார்த்தை இப்படி தான் சொல்கிறது கிறிஸ்த் இஸ் கமிங் பேக் கிறிஸ்து திரும்பி வருகிறார் பட் இஸ் கமிங் பேக் ஃபார் சம்திங் வெரி சர்டன் அண்ட் ஷூர் ஆனால் நிச்சயமான ஒரு காரியத்திற்காக அவர் திரும்பி வருகிறார் He died for that. Other kaga var mari tirikra. He died for that. Other kaga mari tirikra. Saints of God. Devan thenakale. If God is to be glorified, Devan mai me pada vendi mandral. The church must come into the fullness of Christ or perfection. Kristu unvadiya mulu me kum nere me kum sabi ana de vara vendum. Yes. If Christ is to be glorified, Kristu mana var mai me pada vendi. Now look at this scripture in the book of Second uh, Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians kerke the nirbam. I am going to close. Naan nere me sey poigre. Thank you for your prayers that sustained me so long. Kevalu naal ennai thangi vetru mungal jabatir ke nandi. Yes, Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians kerke the nirbam. And uh, chapter one and verse ten. Vanna madhikaram patam vasanam. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, and to be admired. Oh, in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. Annaali le thamade parshu the vangal le maimi parat takavaragiyum. Ningal engude saathi veswaathi thapadi naale vungal le thilum veswaathi ko le lavar le thilum. Aachre parat takaravaragiyum. Avar varum bode. Glorified. He shall come and be glorified in his saints. Avar vande thannuriya parshu the vangal le maimi parat takavaragi varuvar. Amen. Amen. If Christ is to be glorified, Christ we must come into that maturity. Christ is one of our main part of the event. Mandal, Lama, the Paripurna, the Kvara event. And marvel in all them that believe. We see what they call Lord. That little Mahatmya part of the Kvaraai Varuvar. You know, so this is not only identification of his saints. It is. परचुत वन को नाड़े आला मात्र मल्ल है। It speaks about a relationship he has got with his church। तनु डे सभी और कुड़े अवर कुंडले करा तोड़र भाई में तो कुड़ी करे, वर भाई में कुड़ी करे। So it's an identification of his relationship। इन्द वर भाई नोड़े या अंदा आड़े आलम। Yes। इधर दान। But it's also identification of his nature। अवर डे सुबह वतन आड़े आलम आगो में देर करे दे। Oh may God help us। देवनम को देवी सहेतुम। glorified in his saints avar tannude parshutha vaangalil magamai padathakavaraga varuvar no that's a precious thing to think about isn't it idai paarpadu is christ a matter of persecution for you ungalukku kristuvanavar oru paadaga irukkarara kristuvan nimithamaga paadapadukkiraar christ is a matter of rejection neenga thallapadukireergala kristuvan nimithamaga no many a time christ is the cause of many sufferings in our life nammude vaalkile pala paadgalukku kristu kaaranamaga irukkara but remember the day is coming the same christ adekirithu is the cause of rejection and suffering and and uh, ostracism and many other things the same christ is to, going to be glorified in his saints adekirithu endha kirithu ungalude paadgalukkum nendigalukkum avamanathirkum kaaranamaga irundaro adekirithu vanavar ungalil magamai padathakkaravaga varapogirar இந்த ஒரு காரியத்தை நீங்கள் புரிந்து கொள்ள வேண்டும் 
Saints, I'm going to conclude. That's the end. As we read here in 2 Thessalonians 1.10. When he shall come to be glorified in his saints. Yes. Our people who shall come into the nature of Christ. The fullness of him that filleth all in all. Saints therefore the cross must be an integral part of our lives. Prepare the way. That it may deal with everything that is toward man. Removing that nature. And that self in order to bring in that which is of Christ in my life, in our life and in our midst. So, I would like conclude, brothers and sisters, the active working of the cross is the burden of the Holy Spirit in this present time. I would say that again. The active working of the cross is the burden of the Holy Spirit. In these end times. To prepare his church. For the return of Christ the bridegroom back to this earth. The spirit and the bride say come. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And he the, who is to come shall come. And shall not delay. So brothers and sisters, let this cross be a reality in our life. May God open our eyes. Wasted years. Many, many years have just gone by. Remember. The Holy Spirit is going to be very particular in our life. He is not going to come as in the past. He is going to come to you and to me. His love will visit us. And he will sternly say, this I will not anymore. Amen. Amen. I wish I had not come to this gathering today. <laughs> Maybe that is what some of you are saying. I want to tell you, how can we escape? How can we escape? May God help us. It is the love of God visiting us again today. Let this cross be a reality. Let this cross be a reality now. Lord. Shall we all stand up in the presence of God and give thanks to God. I really appreciate all of you praying for me. Somehow it looks like I made it. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <coughs> Let's sing that song again. Father, be glorified. Father, be thou glorified. And if the Father is to be glorified, then we must come into the full expression of the life of Christ. That's the only way God can be glorified. As we heard, that was God's intention from the beginning. The glory of God filled the whole earth as the waters cover the sea. And that will happen again. Father, be thou glorified. <clears throat> Be thou glorified, Father. Be thou glorified, 
Before his throne in all humility in all utterness that the Lord would take this confession seriously and send his Holy Spirit unto all of us Thank you, Jesus. God can only be glorified. Christ can only be glorified when a people will come into full expression of his mind and thought. But he has from the beginning for man <coughs> in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Young brothers and sisters, all the ones, every one of us. May God help us. Church and Christ, they are one. Thank you, Lord. May God help us. What do we see today? Man, my institutions called church. The original, the primal, the initial is all lost over the years. But God will not give up. God's cry is, come out of her, my people. Be separate. And God will surely have a bride for his son, for which he gave himself. For the joy that was set before him, he endured everything, including that death. So may God help, brothers and sisters. May this word have its effect upon our lives. May he open our eyes. What seest thou? Can you see the church? Can you see Christ? Can you see that the Christ and the church, they are one? What seest thou? What's your vision? 
don't waste your ears anymore. If you don't see, you have nothing to declare. We can come and go. But that's not why you are here. You are here that your eyes may be open. That you may become an instrument to open the eyes of others. That you may declare what you see. And bring in hope and deliverance in other lives. So may God help us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I request Brother Sam to come forward. He is to be glorified in the saints. What a precious thought, what a precious word we have heard. When he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Oh, this is the cry of my heart. Everything that is not of Christ should be removed from this life. Nothing which is not Christ should remain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for unfolding this glorious gospel, the glorious gospel of the kingdom. We thank you, Lord, that that vessel is all of gold, all of gold without and within. Oh, for us to come to that place. Lord, these are exciting days in which we are living. Terrible Terrible, dreadful days, but Lord, you have placed within our hearts a hope that Lord, when he shall appear, we shall be like him. Amen. What else, Lord, what is greater than that in this world? Nothing. Nothing, Lord, nothing. Oh, we see vanity of vanities. All is vanity under the sun. There's nothing that we can hold on to. They are all straw. Nothing, O oh God, nothing. Only you are everything. O oh God, we just pray, open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord, O oh God. That you will be glorified in us. O oh God, in everything, in every way. Not my will, but thine. Oh yes, it's a difficult thing to surrender our wills. But Lord, bring us to that place of surrender. O oh, utter surrender, O oh God. Surrender of our wills, not by just saying it, by, but Lord, in action. O oh God, that will will be surrendered. Not mine, but thine be done. How you were able to say that, Lord, when you walked upon this earth. And we are unable to say that wholeheartedly. Bring us to that place of utter commitment, utter dedication. It's only then that you can be glorified in us. It's only as we arise and come to that place where you are, that you can enter into us. Give us the grace. Let God be true, but every man a liar. God alone be true in our lives. Oh, what you have said will come to pass. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will not pass away. Your word will come true, oh God. Oh, let God be true and every man a liar. Your word is so true. Your word will come to pass. Oh, give us, we have a little faith. Let that faith grow and increase in the coming days. That it will meet your need, oh God. 
the need for this word to be fulfilled in us as an individual and as a church. Or we cannot remain as individuals in just related to God. But we need to be together, related with him and with one another. Oh, we thank you, Father. We praise thee and bless thee. We give ourselves to that word which you have spoken to us, that you will be glorified within us. We thank thee and praise thee and bless thee. In Jesus' most precious name. Amen.